Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing a yay or nay video for Final Fantasy XV. Um, I think a lot of people are going to say yay for this one, it's Final Fantasy first off, but the main reason I chose to do this is because it's so different from the other Final Fantasy games. They're doing, um, you know, kind of real-time action gameplay, so we're seeing it, it's much more akin to Kingdom Hearts style, which personally I enjoy more, that's why I was so excited to see this game. Uh, even when it was like first announced a long time ago and stuff, the gameplay, even in those trailers, it was like, this is what we're doing, it's kind of live action stuff, uh, which they're doing just like Final Fantasy VII, uh, the, the remaster, it seems like they're doing the same thing, like it's real time action, and I'm, I much more prefer that than turn based and stuff like that, but uh, when I was watching an interview, they do have a mode, it's, it's kind of meter based, so technically, they still have it in there a little bit where you can pause gameplay or at least slow it down. It slows it down for a time and you can look around the battlefield and decide who you want to attack and stuff like that. It's not turn based exactly, but you can slow things down and be like, okay, this character I want to do this attack, this character I want to do this attack and stuff like that. So that I thought was cool. I was like, okay, that's somewhat a way to kind of keep it at least a little bit, like a very tiny bit, because it is meter based, so it does drain. You can't just freeze it and then play it that way. But I thought that was cool that they at least put that in there. Like, okay, it's at least got a remnant of that old style, and it's you know freeze it and see you know the way you want to play it. So I thought that was cool. But I'm excited for this. So I'm actually like I'm I've never really been excited for Final Fantasy games. Never really played them. I played seven pretty much like everyone, which was only because of my uncle. I never had that game myself, but. You know, played 7, thought it was okay. I've played other JRPGs, and it's like, you know, they're they're fine, but they've never really been, like, my thing. But this has the real-time strategy. Um, obviously, the visuals are just insanely effing phenomenal. I'm, I'm liking the, the open-world sort of idea with it. I'm curious where they're going to take that, because it's kind of like, oh, the king has been taken over, and you're play the, playing the king's son. So it's like... Can you go certain places you shouldn't go because then there's like a swarm of enemies coming at you that are too strong? You know, are they doing that thing where they cut off a part of the world? Stuff like that. So it makes me wonder how they're going to do the open world dynamic of it. But visuals are great. I love how the action looks. The teleportation thing is just really cool to me. Um, getting to see, you know, the other characters, kind of how they interact with each other during the battles is very cool. There was one moment where the main character and I think it's... It's like the other, it's not the like really skinny dude who uses the guns, but it's like another guy who uses the sword, like the third skinny guy, I guess. The guy who's like suited up, I think. They both use their swords, and they stop this swing, like they back up, and their blades kind of move a little bit in like an X formation. And the guy with the gun like actually ducks underneath them because he's about to get hit in the neck with the blades. So he's like, whoa, and he like ducks underneath. And I was like, that's a crazy thing to add. Like that's a very dynamic animation to have a character do where he's like oh you know they're finishing up an attack and it's just like the residual effects of them you know swinging so hard and he has to like slide on the ground to go underneath their blade so he doesn't like get decapitated and i was like that is freaking sweet that's just you know that's just a minor little thing but that i loved is very you know it's very genuine and stuff and they kind of they all talk to each other and they help each other up when they get knocked down stuff like that so i love how the characters interact just in action alone they all have their own different personalities as they all hang out and stuff like that so seems like it'll be a good story seems really fun there's actually a movie um i don't know what i forgot the name of the actual movie but you can of course look up the trailer and it is a prequel i want to say it's a prequel to the actual game and it kind of sets up the story a little bit so you know the movie itself it, it kind of looks it doesn't look exactly like the game but it looks really close to it but it looks really freaking good, so I'm, ex I'm actually kind of excited to check that out too. So far, Final Fantasy movies outside of the very first one, which just was a movie, um, they've been pretty sweet. So looking forward to seeing how they play around with this movie and how, you know, what we get to learn about the universe and how what we learned in the movie really helps us understand more stuff uh, through the game. So that's exciting as well. Of course, uh, which they showed at the Sony conference, it's going to have some VR stuff. And that, I think, is interesting. Um, I don't know. Unless I get it as a gift, I don't think I'll ever have uh, PSVR, unfortunately, as much as I want it. Uh, it's like $400, which I think is crazy for just VR. Because then you, you know, it's like buying a whole console 
and then you have to buy the other game. Well, it is a whole console. I mean, VR basically is a, its own console. It's just, you know, VR. So, I think that's cool. You know, you actually get to play as a different character. I don't know if they're doing story elements with it, because they have, like, the sort of, like, the hot mechanic, mechanic girl. And, you know, they have the ending scene where you're, like, in the car with her. So, I don't know if it's, like, a story-based sort of VR experience or how they're gonna like what they're gonna do with that because I'm assuming it's gonna be story based in somewhere at least it's like a mission that you do and they just switch the perspective to that character or if it's a unique story experience that maybe takes place in between certain you know giant story arcs or something like that so that looked cool of course because it's like you know you get to see just in general I would love to see that in VR like just seeing the even if I don't get to actually experience it which would probably be disorienting you know, hitting the buttons and your character swinging like this and flipping and then like teleporting and stuff, that would probably be super disorienting. But just getting to see those visuals in a VR perspective, I think would look pretty amazing. Like with the other characters teleporting around and seeing the creatures in a, a different way, I think that would actually be very cool just to see visually, to be totally honest, even outside of the gameplay. But I would love to get the chance. I, I would just, whenever it's VR, I'd love to experience that because I don't have the money to get like an Oculus or anything like that so I'm always excited for VR because I've only gotten to do it like one time and it was like the earliest demo where it's like here's the solar system and it's like well this still looks cool but it's the sun and stuff so I was like eh. but seems pretty cool curious how they're gonna do that but overall definitely a big yay for me on this one I'm very excited to see how they do this one um, excited for the story too because it kind of seems like it's ripe for potential to just get you just get attacked all the time fight tons of different types of enemies, you fight monsters, you fight humans. I'm sure there are like 18 different levels of humans that you end up fighting throughout the game. But I'm excited to see what they do with this one and, you know, how long the gameplay is. I'm assuming with it being Final Fantasy, even if they change this style of combat, I'm sure it'll still be like a crazy long game. So I'm actually looking forward to that and it just seems exciting. So I'm looking forward to it, of course. We'll definitely want to know what you guys think about this one. So please comment below. Let me know whether you guys want this game, don't want this game. Are you right in the middle? Does this really affect you that it's changed combat again? Which they've done before because I think it was Final Fantasy... It was, mm, was it like 11? Or well, It was one of those. It was like the one that has like... The, it was like a weird combat thing. It would be like your character would almost have like a curved target towards certain enemies. Never played it, but I knew that was different when it came out. I was like, oh, that's really different how they're doing that. So, it, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't 10. I know 10 for sure. So, it may have been 9. It, it might have been 9. It was either 9 or 12 or 11 or something. I don't know. It's one of those games. But, you know, they've changed, you know, they've changed the combat, you know, kind of back and forth before. Because it was that, and then, you know, they went to Final Fantasy thirteen, which went back to kind of the older style of it. And now they're changing it again for 15. And I don't even know what they're doing. Like, the online stuff, I don't know how that plays out. I would assume it's just MMO style where, you know, you just click and fight. It's not turn-based. So I don't even know for that for sure. But very curious what you guys are thinking about this one. So like I said, please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.